Kaylin here with your new edition of Whip It News. To get the show started, here's the jumpstart question. How many endangered species are there in the world? Is it A, 5, B, 16,938, C, 4,734, or D, 23,456? The answer is B, 16,938. For our first story, we have Nick to tell you about the hole in the ozone layer. The ozone layer is a layer in the Earth's atmosphere about 10 to 20 kilometers away from the Earth's crust. It is pretty much a pair of sunglasses for the Earth. As of September 16, 1987, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, aka NASA, noticed from satellite images that there was a strange decrease in the thickness of the ozone layer above Antarctica and the Arctic. These holes and pollution are two main causes of global warming. Wow, I hope we can keep the hole from getting any bigger. Next up is Jessica with information about the Humane Society. Recently, Chris and I went to the Richland County Humane Society, a shelter for homeless cats and dogs. You can volunteer at the Richland County Humane Society, play with the cats, and walk the dogs. I really think it's important to the community that you help these animals get the affection they need. You can also donate blankets, towels, and other things that they would need. We have an interview of one of the workers, and here is what she said. The Richland County Humane Society has been in existence for over 10 years. We've been at this particular location on Park Avenue West for a little over four years. Well, as far as cats are concerned, um, we can have, you know, several hundred cats that come into us every month. Um, as far as dogs are concerned, because we take in dogs that have been abused, abandoned, and neglected, it just depends on you know what the agents go out and pull. Um, we have enough room for close to 30 dogs at any given time, and we're usually pretty full. So we, we tend to stay at 30 dogs consistently throughout the months. I think it's important because there are so many, um, as far as cats are concerned, we have so many stray cats and they need a place to go, they need food, they need shelter, they need someone to take care of them, and our job is to try and help these animals get adopted. So um, as far as the dogs are concerned, like I said, we take dogs that have been abused, abandoned, and neglected. So it's really important that those animals know that there are people that do care about them and aren't going to mistreat them. And again, we try to find them adopters or place them in foster homes with rescue groups so that they can have a happy life. I would love to work there. Now here's Mason with an animal biography. Great white shark is the most dangerous shark in the world. This, shark this shark's average length is about 15 feet long and weighs almost 5,000 pounds. It lives mostly around the bottom coast of Africa, around the coast of Florida, areas in Australia and California. This predatory shark mainly eats on Cape fur seals in Africa, tuna in Australia, and sometimes even other sharks. There have been a few attacks on humans from these sharks, but it's not because they like our, our flesh. The actual truth is that sharks actually are scared of humans. You actually have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than getting attacked by a shark. That's a super cool animal. Now we have Julia and Sherry with the cutest internet cats. Hey, I'm Sherry. Hi, I'm Julia. And, and we're, we're here with, with your top 10 internet, internet cats. cats. Maru was born in Japan on May 24, 2007 and is a male Scottish Fold. He has been entertaining fans with his YouTube videos for years. Grumpy Cat was born April 4, 2012. His real na her real name is Tartar Sauce. She's a female cat and an internet celebrity known for her grumpy, fa grumpy facial expressions. Snoopy the Cat is one of the most popular cats in the world, especially in China. She is an exotic short hair cat with a lovely master that takes pictures of her every day. She is a very chubby and lovable. She has a pair of really, really large eyes. Little Bub was born June 21, 2011 and is an American cat and an internet celebrity known for her perma-kitten appearance. Cooper is a six-year-old American short-haired cat living in Seattle. Once a week, he wears a lightweight digital camera. It snaps photos every two minutes. He is known for the Meow Mix commercials. Nella is an adorable cross-eyed cat from Los Angeles, California, and is famous for amusing shenanigans on Facebook. There's a whole lot of Nala's merchandise if you're a fan, including Nala's mobile phone cases, t-shirts, and bow collars, and much more. Hamilton the Hipster Cat is a rescue kitty that was born on the 4th of July, probably. He has a real mustache that is better than any mustache that has ever walked this planet. 
and Street Cat Bob. Street musician James Bowen found his loyal tomcat named Bob in 2007. Their story is told in a book called A Street Cat Named Bob. His best trick is probably the high five, which he has really perfected over the years. Aw, they're so cute. Here's Macy and McKenna with facts about endangered species. Hi, I'm McKenna. I'm sure that you've never heard of this animal. My animal for this segment is the jaguarundi. The jaguarundi is an endangered animal in North America. The jaguarundi tends to live in the rainforest of Central America and South America. The jaguarundi eats small mammals and fish. And if you ever see a jaguarundi, please run. Now we have Cruz with the top 10 games. <laughs> Number one, Grand Theft Auto V. Number two, Call of Duty Ghost. Number three, FIFA 2014. Number four, Pokemon Y and X. Number five, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Friday. Number six, The Last of Us. Number seven, Animal Crossing, New Leaf. Number eight, Tom Raider. Raider. Number nine, Monster Hunter. Number 10, Bioshock Infinity. Wow, those sound fun. For the last segment of our show, here's Keely telling you about the bees in the school. Hey guys, Keely here. Have you guys noticed how many bees have been in our school lately? Well, you know they mean no harm, but if you swat at them, they may sting you because they think they are being threatened. But that's not the whole point of bees. Bees are one of the most important insects around. They are the reason we are here today because they pollinate almost everything. That, in that needs to be pollinated, including trees. Trees give us oxygen, which is why we are here today. But I have some bad news for you. The honey bee, which pollinates stuff that is is slowly disappearing because of a disease that they can get. This disease is called CCD, which stands for Colony Collapse Disorder. This disorder is caused by mainly pesticides. Pesticides are a type of chemical that farmers use to keep bugs off their crops, but now they have realized that the bees are being affected by these chemicals. So farmers are now trying to find a way to use the chemicals without harming the bees. Well, that's what I have to say about bees. Talk to you guys later, bye. There sure are some smart bees here at SMS. Remember, if you have any ideas for stories or debates, tell us at www.whippetnews.weebly.com. See you next time. Hey, this is Macy, and I'm here to talk about Halloween. Do you still trick or treat, watch scary movies, or do you think you're too old to trick or treat? Maybe you just have a Halloween story you would like to share. We need your input for Whippet News. All you have to do is fill out a slip from the cafeteria and place it in this sparkly box. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing your responses. Hey, it's Bobette reporting some very important news. First off, the Shelby Middle School is having a Halloween dodgeball tournament. The only difference between this dodgeball tournament is each student that is participating can wear their Halloween costume while playing. It is $2 to play and $1 to watch. This dodgeball tournament is a fundraiser for local charities, so please join in all the fun. Coming up is the first Whippet News special for this year. It will air on October 31st. Thanks for watching. Hit me with your best shot. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Bobby, leave me alone, I'm not playing dodgeball.